Miss Trinidad Tobago voted Miss Photogenic by the press photographers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Janelle Comision, and I come from the city of Port of Spain. Miss Trinidad Tobago. Miss Trinidad Tobago. come over here to me. This is Janelle Comisong, and she's from Diego Martin. She's 24, and you are a fashion buyer, and you speak perfect English. Yes, I do. Where have you lived beside Trinidad, Tobago? I lived in New York for 10 years. They speak English in New York. That's right. Kind of. <laughs> How long have you lived in Trinidad, Tobago? Um, totally 14 years. How long have you lived there this time? I mean, One year. Just one year. Yes. You just got back in time yes, to become Miss Trinidad Tobago. Yes. Well, now, you have been here for more than a week, and you've met some nice people, and you've seen some beautiful sights. How, what are your impressions of the Dominican Republic? Well, the people are very warm. Food has been quite good. And the island is very beautiful. The way you talk, you might be back as Miss Dominican <laughs> Republic next year, huh? I might. All right. Thank you, Miss Trinidad thank Tobago. Miss Trinidad Tobago. Janelle has dark brown hair and brown eyes. In all her 24 years, Janelle confesses she has never had an embarrassing moment. Either she's got nerves of steel or she's just not telling. Miss USA. Cuántas veces soñando, tu mano suave sentido, cuántas veces llorando, el día me sorprendió. And Gemini is the sign of Miss Trinidad Tobago, and that means she loves to talk. That's one reason she's so popular at parties. Miss USA. Trinidad Tobago. We have four questions remaining. Take one. And her question is, one of the prizes the new Miss Universe will receive is a trip around the world. What country would you most like to visit and why? I think the Far East, because it's currently becoming a very industrial country and also because of the culture. Thank you, Miss Trinidad Tobago. Then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss Austria, Miss Trinidad Tobago is Miss Universe. Congratulations, Janelle. Yes. Yeah. Universe, they live people everywhere are seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can wherever we go. I'm Arlene Peterkin and I hail from the oh-so-beautiful twin islands of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago, Arlene Peterkin. <laughs> All right, look at her. Arlene has a smile that could light up the entire African continent and a lot of people think she could take it all. I have a huge appetite. The girls around here have just been laughing at me. At breakfast, I start out with, uh, let's see, fruit, then I go to yogurt, pancakes, waffles, sausages, you name it. I love food. Now we have Miss Trinidad in Tobago. She is Arlene Peterkin. She is 27 years old, currently is a flight attendant with a degree in aviation administration. Boy, she comes from a large family, one of nine children. And speaking of children, I know that just recently, didn't you go back to like your old grade school and talk to the kids there? Yes, I did. Yeah, what happened there? Well, it was a really rewarding experience because I went back... I got a lot of old memories flowing back into me because uh, the school was very much the same, although it had been modernized. And 
there was one teacher who was there. She was the kindergarten teacher while I was going to school there, and she's now the principal. So it was really lovely. Nice. Tobago. is Miss Trinidad Tobago, Arlene Peterkin. Arlene Peterkin. Go ahead, Arlene. Select a name. You've gone with judge number four. That is Dan McVicker. Dan, your question, please. All right. If you were to have a son or daughter someday, or both, what's the most important lesson that you would want to teach him or her? I'm pretty certain I'll be having both because the family is so important to me. Um, the most important lesson that I would teach them is to be true to themselves because today I think the world is so going so wrong because people are lying so much, to, not only to themselves but to everyone else. And as Shakespeare says, this above all, to, the, to thine own self be true and it shall follow as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Lots of Miss Trinidad Tobago. Stay right where you are. Let the judges lock in their scores. Trinidad and Tobago. Good evening. From the island that created carnival and gave it to the world, I am Margot Bourgeois, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago, Margot Bourgeois. Margot is 24 years old and tells me she would like to be an actress someday. in Tobago. She's a university student whose hobbies include kayaking and horseback riding. Please welcome Margot Bourgeois. Now, please step right here if you would. Now, Margot, tell me, if I were to visit your country, what would you show me? Oh, it depends on where you want to go. We have everything in Trinidad and Tobago. But I would take you to the Point of Pier Wildfowl Trust because I think the environment is so important right now and we really need to be more sensitive about it. We need to protect it and preserve it. This is a place where we protect endangered species of waterfowl and we have a lot of natural flora and fauna. It's beautiful. <laughs> You didn't hear anything, did you? I hope not. All right. Final question. If there were no rules in your life for one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? I won't wear clothes. <laughs> I mean, clothes, I mean, it's necessary because we know that we have to be private and, and all that. But if we had no rules, I would want to be free. And I'm sure everybody else would. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. And now, the second runner-up is Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Marco Bourgeois. Trinidad and Tobago, Wendy Fitzwilliams. Goes to Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago's Wendy Fitzwilliam is in her last year of law school and would like to become a diplomatic representative in the Foreign Service. Japan, 
to learn about a whole different kind of island. Now, carnival is almost a ritual in Trinidad. Did you learn anything about rituals in Japan? Actually, I did. Uh, in Japan, their theater is very, very important. It's a very old tradition. It has been around for many, many, many centuries. And um, it's mainly classical Japanese music. And even though I wouldn't be able to understand it, I understand it's very, very interesting. The stories are very easy to follow. Uh, the costuming is fantastic, very bright colors and that kind of thing. And in the Caribbean, we also use a lot of bright colors. So I would very much enjoy it. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago's Wendy Fitzwilliam enjoys fashion and textile design and says Audrey Hepburn is her idol. And both of them have, they have the same long, elegant neck, I think. This girl is so striking, so elegant, so exotic. Look at this on stage. Isn't it fabulous? You know what it is? It's just classic. Very, very, very classic. Simple is working for these girls. I think you're right. Don't distract. Not at all. Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, Tobago, what's the first assignment you'd give yourself? Oh, the first assignment I would give myself definitely would be to work within our region, within the Caribbean. I think we need to unite more as a region. There are many, many islands making up the West Indies and even though we're moving in that direction, there's still a lot of work to be done and I think I can do it. Politics and singing, wonderful combination. Trinidad and Tobago! A woman... The question is, a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she has missed? Oh, she's missed so much in terms of technology, but unfortunately she's also missed our lack of sensitivity to our environment. Uh, she'll miss now clean air, uh, regular climates, that kind of thing. We, I'm going to tell her that we have to or I should say, we're in the process of turning that around, but that's what she's missing, in my opinion. Fresh air and a good, a, a good earth, a good clean earth. I agree with you completely. Thank you. The first runner-up in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant is Miss Venezuela! Miss Universe 1998, Miss Trinidad and Tobago!
and Tobago. passionate about setting goals and achieving them. I am inspired by personal experiences. The line I believe in is not without dust the prize. You can't win unless you kick up some dirt. So work hard and you'll get what you want. This 26 year old loves the outdoors, especially the ocean. She's fascinated by total watching which she does on the north coast of her native Trinidad and Tobago. A esta chica de 26 años le encantarían las afueras, sobre todo ir al océano. Le fascina. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. For Miss Universe 2004 is Trinidad and Tobago. Magdalene Walk at 22, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. and studies accounting in school. Her ultimate career goal is to be become a forensic accountant. สาวงามท่านนี้นะครับขณะนี้เธอกําลังศึกษาและทํางานทางด้านการบัญชีจุกมุ่งหมายสูงสุดของเธอก็คือการได้เป็นผู้ตรวจสอบบัญชีครับ Trinidad and Tobago. Now, I personally think she has the best face of the pageant. Oh, and how about her Trinidad's and Tobago's? Not bad either. Trinidad's and Tobago's are nicely packaged, yes, but the face of the pageant, I think. Trinidad and Tobago! Benicia Tom is currently studying to be an accountant. She is also involved in charity and social work. I love to meditate because it gives me a sense of myself. It helps me to focus on my purpose that God has for me. I hope to touch lives and to make a difference in people's lives as I meet them daily.
have been very grounded by a community I was raised by. I thought if there were more women who had the skills and the tools to occupy spaces in whatever way they want, becoming a beauty ambassador, I'm hoping that there are women who feel more empowered in making changes in the world. Tobago! Commanding everyone's attention tonight, she is wearing a cape that highlights the negative effects of climate change, specifically the bleaching of Tobago's coral reefs. She hopes greater awareness might inspire others to protect the oceans, which she calls our underwater heaven. on the bottom of this gold gown was purchased by the designer 20 years ago and he's been saving it all this time for something special. And fun fact, Trinidad and Tobago last won Miss Universe in 1998 and it's the woman who did it. Wendy Fitzwilliam, of course, is on the judging panel tonight. Talk about coincidence, might just be in her favor.